The thin metal probe with a glowing red laser tip might as well be a magic wand for patients who have recurrent or inoperable brain tumors. In a lot of ways, I think this has the potential to be a game-changing technology. Neurosurgeons at Barnes Jewish Hospital and Washington University School of Medicine are among the first in the country to try out this new weapon in the battle against brain tumors. It provides us with a new way of accessing the brain in a minimal inv minimally invasive fashion and, a, and delivering a treatment uh, that can kill a tumor kind of where it is without having to do a, a large surgery and a large opening into the brain to get to the, certain areas. The tool allows surgeons like Dr. Luthart to perform hyperthermia treatment for brain tumors using an MRI guided high intensity laser probe. Surgeons first make a small incision in the patient's skull, a small burr hole that's about the size of a pencil. And then we uh, stereotactically, meaning we use specialized imaging to kind of very precisely define where we're going to put a small uh, fiber optic catheter. And this is a specialized catheter that can deliver kind of high energy lasers. Those lasers go into the middle of the tumor and heat the tumor so precisely that surrounding healthy brain tissue is not damaged. And we heat that tumor while the patient's in the MRI. So we actually watch, using special MRI sequences, the brain tumor heat up and we watch as the kind of the fields of heat uh, kind of, and we can control with this laser where we want it to heat it up. So we can create a very kind of tightly conformed shaped heating pattern that matches the dimensions of the tumor. The surgery is ideal for patients with recurrent tumors that are in hard to reach locations or are resistant to chemotherapy. Basically in the center of the brain and the type of tumors would be gliomas and some common terms are glioblastoma, uh, anaplastic astrocytomas, uh, gliomas. Uh, or uh, metastases, meaning tumors that have come from some other part of the body and spread to the brain. The surgery is also improving recovery times. The patient that we uh, did our first case on went home several days after the procedure, whereas I think uh, normally if he were to ha would have had a surgery, he would have been in the hospital for weeks. There are some limitations to the high intensity laser's use. For instance, patients with vascular brain tumors would not be good candidates. The tool, called the Monteris Autolit System, received FDA approval for neurosurgical use in May of 2009.